Hello, this is Bodrich, and in this video, uh, I thought we, we will look um, at how to add thumbnails to any file um, manually, uh, not uh, using a thumbnailer, which I have uh, described in a previous video. Um, see, thumb there, how to enable thumbnails. This is an old video I uploaded a while ago. Um, Hello, everybody. Whoop. <laughs> uh, yeah, about a year ago. Uh, how to um, use Tumblr to generate uh, thumbnails automatically for images and even videos and uh, things like that. But in this video, we will look into how to do that manually. Uh, because uh, sometimes you want to add a very specific thumbnail to a specific file, for example, album art to an MP3 file, or um, maybe cover art for a, a, a movie file, or, or a game art for a game file, or whatever. You can add a thumbnail to any file, except directories. You cannot add thumbnails for di uh, directories, at least not in, in the uh, a standard uh, definition on how thumbnails work. Uh, I'm not 100% sure exactly where this uh, originates from, if it is like a, a gnome thing, but whatever, I will show you. And I, I, I think this will work on, on most, um, uh, it doesn't really matter which window manager or, or um, desktop environment or file manager you are using. So, I showed you the old video link, I will link that in the description because it's kind of related and it's a, it's a good video to, to know how to set up thumbnailers. Um, then we create a temporary directory here, I have created one already called uh, in my home directory tmp slash thumbtest. Um, this is where I thought we could do our, our experiments, let's add some, some images also. Have some here, let's take these three here, it's okay. There. <clears throat> okay, we have three images. Uh, let's also create a, a test file. Uh, I think I am in this directory here. Yes, homebud tmp thumb test. Let's just uh, create a test subject file here, so that, that just created an empty file now. Um, and uh, we will... Our, our first goal here is to um, add one of these images as the thumbnail for our uh, subject file here. First, I think we should uh, take a look into this directory here. I hope we can see this uh, home slash dot cache slash Thumbnails. Uh, it's a hidden directory in your home directory. Um, inside the cache uh, directory. God damn, there's so many. There we have it, and then we have thumbnails somewhere here. Uh, there. And inside that one, there is yet one or two more directories uh, normally. Uh, one is called normal and one is called large and they, they just contain different sizes for, for thumbnails. And I'm not sure, I think these large ones are whatever. But these are thumbnails and we can, um, yeah, I guess if we do this sort by date, uh, so this is the last thumbnail added here. That is probably one of the, um, images yeah it's table cat here it's a thumbnail for this one because these are the last uh, generated thumbnails in this directory uh, because each file here is uh, unique uh, to a specific path because this weird string of just uh, random numbers here isn't random at all it is uh, md5 uh, hash of uh, the actual path uh, on the file system. So this 
string here uh, is the MD5 of the full path to the file here. So each uh, file needs a unique uh, uh, thumbnail. So this image uh, probably exists somewhere else here uh, in the cache because uh, we also have the thumbnail for it here. But that's a different file here in the .cache and they are not linked or anything. It, 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 so it can create a lot of duplicates. But these images, these thumbnail images, you can see they are quite small. They are not extremely small, but the, the, that depends on the quality you, you store your, your pings in. But they are, uh, I think they are 8-bit uh, pings, if I'm not um, mistaken. Um, so to create a thumbnail for by yourself, all you need to do is place a file in um, one of these directories, or at least the normal directory for this to work, and yeah, name that file with a md5 uh, hash of the absolute path to the file you want to create a thumbnail for. And the image also needs to be a ping and it needs to be in a specific uh, format and size and stuff. So there are quite a lot of things to, to consider when doing this and it's, it's kind of crazy to do it manually every time you have to do it. So this is really something uh, that's suited for a little script. So I prepared that as well here. I created a blank script file here called Thumbadder. Um, yeah and a little project for it here in, in Sublime. So let's start here. We got subject here. That's our subject. Let's do this. Okay, that's our subject. Um, the image, yeah, let's take the cat or let's take the palm. It's this one. Um, to get the, the um, MD5 uh, hash, that's quite easy. Because there is a command called MD5 sum. Uh, and you, if you pipe uh, something to MD5 sum, it will um, yeah, create a hash of, of, of the string. Otherwise, it wants a, a, a path to a file, and then it creates a MD5 uh, checksum on that file. But if you want to do it on just a, a, a string, then you add that string to, to standard in for, for MD5 sum here. So, um, let's see, let's, or I guess we should have taken the, now we took palms there. Is it this then? Yeah. So 892FB. Do echo N. And it's important here to use echo with the N option because that will uh, remove the trailing new line from the echo. Otherwise, that will also get uh, checked by MD5 here. And there we get uh, the checksum for. for for this string, but as we can see here, it doesn't match. This one st uh, starts with 892 and this starts with E65. And that's because uh, uh, these um, uh, they are actually stored with a, a URI um, uh, way of, of writing this. So it's file colon slash slash and then the path to the file. And also we shouldn't. Ah. God damn it, now the should have done this vice palms. So it will whatever dot jpeg. That's the path to, to our image. And this one will match now when we got this URI uh, start of it. File colon slash slash and then the absolute path to the file. And here we have 892fb1f3. 892fb1f3. They match. Um, and we need the, the MD5 for the target here. So we could store that in a variable also here. We can call that variable MD5 echo n target 
and the five sum. What we need to do, we also need to, to remove uh, the last part of the string here. We could do it in different ways, but maybe the nicest is to pipe this into cut. Maybe it isn't the nicest. I, I don't know. It, it, it really takes uh, no time at all. So there we, we cut out uh, the first field uh, delimited by space and that first field will then be this. <coughs> so then we have our uh, MD5 uh, hash here uh, stored in a variable. Um, we also need uh, the location here to, to the thumbnails directory. It's um, thumb deed is equal to God damn it is equal to let's change this to a variable thumbnails and then thumbnails normal thumbnails large. Uh, so now when we got this, also here I almost forgot, uh, file colon slash slash. Otherwise you get, a, uh, of course it's a different string so you get a different checksum. Um, or checksum, I'm, I'm not sure if that's the correct word. It feels better to say uh, hash. So the path will be something like this. Uh, can do normal path is equal to thumb deed slash normal slash um, md5 dot pin. Save. Uh, uh, we can also do a large path while we are here. Large, large. Okay, now we need to, to generate the, um, the thumbnail. We could also test this uh, really quickly by, by doing this. Mm, yeah, this is the cat, right? Here. So, if we copy this file and just paste it here, we'll get a copy of that here in the thumbnails directory. And then we create a checksum here of um, our subject file to get the checksum we need, or the hash, whatever. God damn it. Subject there and then we can actually just rename this uh, copy of the cat thumbnail here and this is a good idea to do this if you're following here just to see that this is working somehow if it doesn't work uh, it might be your file manager because I think nothing happened here now but if I do a reload here now we can see subject have that thumbnail so that's how this works. It only uh, whenever you open a directory, at least in Thunar here, it uh, sh uh, checks with the thumbnail cache to see if the file exists there, and then it automatically uh, displays the thumbnail like this. And this is um, this is a really good system in my opinion. One, you get this flat directory with all the uh, uh, no subdirectories or anything is needed here. Uh, and it's, a, it, it's usually very, very fast to load the, the thumbnails uh, for programs when they are stored here. And it's uh, kind of annoying when programs don't use this uh, uh, standard feature. For example, SXIV uh, generates its own thumbnails and it's uh, much slower than, than using the built-in one. But that SXIV is still a great, uh, uh, yeah, let's see if I, is it enter? Yeah, well, it's not that slow here. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do that here with a, <laughs> whatever. Uh, 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 uh. It works, it works. 
the nodes, the nodes. GDK picks buff thumbnailer. This is uh, the program I have found to be the best to to generate the thumbnails uh, themselves, the images. So here, this is the same directory as we have here, uh, and this command GDK uh, picks buff thumbnailer. Uh, I'm not sure because this isn't something I've installed uh, myself, it, it came with some dependency. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's this GDK PixBuff2, which I'm... I don't really know when I got that. Uh, maybe it was with Tumblr, but, but I think it's a quite common uh, dependency. So if you don't have this uh, uh, program installed, you can install it from Pac-Man or apt or whatever you are using here gdk pixbuff2 an image loading library it's probably a, a very standard library that a lot of applications use so you probably already have it installed and then you can also test if you have gdk uh, pixbuff thumbnailer uh, command installed you add the long option help you get a short help screen here which is all the help you get here how this works um, but it wants a input file and an output file so if we give this the input file uh, win 95 because I am in this directory remember and then we can have the output file VAT ping there, you see it created this uh, file and it's usually very fast. Now this was one of the slowest executions I've done with it. I guess it depends on, on the source image, but it's uh, usually very fast to generate these uh, uh, thumbnails. Uh, and if we open this, uh, this one here, we can see it is a small size of uh, the original, original here, which is much larger. Um, not sure if we can... Yeah, this looks like it's a very large image. I, I guess uh, that's why it takes more time sometimes. We can test it again with, with the palms. Yeah, that was almost uh, half as, uh, twice as fast. Uh, but that was also a J JPEG, but it always uh, generates uh, ping images. Uh, the only option that we need to use here is uh, the size option Because these uh, thumbnails they are stored in two different sizes here normal and large and The size I think the size is uh, the height of the thumbnail That's uh, the, the value you enter here for size and normal is uh, 120i 128 and large is 256 I know this because I don't really remember. This is like a, a pro project that I have been... Uh, I, I come back to now and then trying to get this thing working. And I, I recently, or yesterday, I finally made it so, so that, it, that it works perfect now with the uh, file names with weird characters and stuff. So I thought let's make this video now. Uh, okay. Got the command, we got everything here. Do this. Input file. Here is the image path. Image. But then we don't output it to um, the thumbnails directory uh, immediately. Because if there already exists a thumbnail, uh, it, it uh, will not overwrite it. Uh, so instead, let's uh, write this thumbnail to a temporary file. So we can do a temporary file is equal to mk temp. Uh, and then we write to tf also the size. Uh, one to eight. 
So this would be a normal uh, um, thumbnail. Then when we have done that, then we move uh, the temporary file here, which now uh, contains the, the image. Maybe it's unnecessary to do this, but whatever, you, then you know you get a unique uh, file name and stuff. Then we move with the force option to norm path um, slash or norm path is the full path, yes. And we move the tar temporary file here. This and then we test this. So if this works now, it should replace the target, subject, the thumbnail with vice palms. Okay, 49 milliseconds, that's really fast in my opinion, reload. Yes, it worked. And here is, so I need to reload here, but there is actually a, a little uh, hack here. You can just do a touch, touch the target, and then it will work. And then we can try with a different um, thumbnail here, or we just change it here. Table cat.jpg. There, and now with the touch it will, it will update the thumbnail in Thunar here. I don't know if this is only a Thunar thing or not, I don't know. And of course, uh, now uh, all we need to do here is, is change these hard-coded values to, to take arguments instead. So maybe target is $1 and image is $2 and then we could use this uh, uh, little script to add thumbnails but uh, we will get problems when the the target file have special characters in 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 it uh, then um, we will get the wrong uh, checksum here or hash because uh, I don't know how much you know about URIs and URLs and stuff, uh, but there are many special characters that needs to be escaped in a special way. Um, let's say we have a file. We have a file. .txt, and this file have spaces in the file name. That's not a valid URI, valid URL. The U URI would, would look something like this. And so on. You, you replace space with percentage 20. But there are a lot more uh, special characters that, that you have to escape like this. Um, but it's not all uh, non-alphabetic or uh, numeric characters because uh, some of them are accepted. And they are actually, um, yeah, you need to be sure not to, to change uh, the wrong character, so to speak. We can do some testing here. Uh, let's rename... Another thing I've been thinking about is maybe we make a break in the video here. And then I do some research because I would like uh, to have a file... Uh, picker menu here and now I don't think it's uh, Rofi or Xlaunch or any other like uh, graphical launcher is, is enough you know because um, we want a good file picker window here and there must be some way uh, I have never really tried any of those you know the sanity is a way to, to create simple GUIs that you can use from scripts and stuff uh, yeah, I think I'd do that. Let's make a break here. Next video, we continue with this, but also stepping into the uh, GUI programming world <laughs> a little bit. Have a great day, everybody.